Welcome down to Clarence Pier. Now, as you know, we are local to Clarence Pier. Local as in, we can walk here in 20 minutes. Um, you know, it's just down the road from us. It has been our, one of our local parks. This one and Funland are our local parks. And we've come down today to have a closer look around. And we can't wait. We genuinely, genuinely, genuinely can't wait. And what we'll be showing you today is not just this new ride, in fact, really not the new ride at all. We're gonna be taking you uh, to both the coasters, which is the Tidal Wave Coaster, the Spinning Coaster, the Mad Mouse Coaster, the Wild Mouse Style Coaster over there, as well as checking out the Waltzer, the Twister, um, and of course the Log Flume, which was the new ride for 2020. So we can't wait to get inside, and we'll take you inside, and we're gonna show you around. You know me, you know me in close season. If you don't already, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. Close season is my is my time to shine. I love it, and I can't wait to get inside. Welcome inside of Clarence Pier. We are here today for a look around the park, and we'll start with the Dodgems. So what we'll do is we'll um, have a look at each ride section by section. We'll see if we can get um, some closer looks for you, some uh, you know some good track shots, some underneath shots as well. And let's start with the Dodgems. Let's get underneath and have a look under there. So here is the park's Tidal Wave Coasters, SBF Spinner. It's the only one of its type in the UK. There are obviously SBF Spinners around, but this is the only one of its type in the UK. This is a stunning example. As you can see, um, the cars and obviously all the electronics are under, under cover. And the reason for that is obviously they're not being used. So to protect them from the elements, they stay under cover. Um, we're going to get in there now and we're going to have a close look down hopefully and we'll show you some of the cars and how they work can't wait can't wait to see it can't wait to see it but in the meantime here is the log flume the canyon river ride which opened last year this is another ride we're going to go up we're going to have a look on the station and we'll show you the controls for it we'll also show you as well through there you can see the pump filtration the main pump down the back and hopefully as well, we'll harness up and we'll take you up the top too. So here we are underneath the Tidal Wave car. Now then, if you, I've never seen underneath one of these. This is the first time I've seen under these, and I've just been showing exactly what it does. So these are freely moving. These can go left and right, obviously, as you go around the ride. And then when they come back, they come back and they lock, and they lock just here. So this little pin goes up, goes into there, locks the car into place. It also has a permanent lock just here, just in case the car is out of action. Park haven't had to use it yet. Fingers crossed they won't have to. And you can just see, look, all these little geeky shots. If you've never looked underneath. So of course with these SBF rides they come with some wonderful LED packages. You've probably seen the park are renowned for their LED packages but this one comes with it. You have a charging pack here which does the lights. And you can see the lights here nicely strung along and yeah they charge and they plug in overnight. Look at this look. And there's little visa sign, just a little touches. Little touches you won't notice from outside the ride. I've never noticed this staying on here before. So obviously the trains are connected with a large bar here. Um, you've probably seen these on most rides, things like uh, Runaway Train, uh, the bars across, and of course, of more recently, extra precautions have been added after a few instances around the country. So the SBS one's come uh, with a massive, I mean, it's a massive bolt, and you can see just underneath there the clip pin as well, as two supporting cables which hold it together. No chance of it coming apart, absolutely none. So the ride actually has two wheels on the drop and I have to say, I thought they would have slow it down, but they're not. They're actually to help it if it stalls for whatever reason in this area. And those two there are to slow it down. So yeah, these two, these two here, are to help it along if it needs it. So on these is probably gonna be one of the very few times you see a lift hill with no, um, no walkway, no walkway at all. I mean, even the crazy caterpillars have walkways. Uh, so these wheels are actually locked. They're completely locked. Um, many fail-safe systems in here. Uh, if, if it got stuck for whatever reason, these reverse, the like, train comes back down, goes back around, uh, either to the station or back to the bottom. Um, if there's a power cut, there's a battery backup. 
and failing everything, they can be manually done. So there's just, there's just no need for anyone to ever go on this lift hill, which is really, really rare. I mean, I know it's arguably a small coaster in, in the scheme of things, but still, you don't see very many without any kind of, any kind of walkways, any kind of walkways at all. So there are no uh, electronics on the track at all. Everything's done by uh, air pressure. It's not too unusual, to be honest, to see air pressures. Um, give you an idea, actually, even something like uh, the uh, magma at Portland Park still uses air pressure to undo the, um, undo the cars. That then plugs into here and releases all the restraints them to do it. But very simple, just out it comes and in it goes. Now the flying jumbos have been completely, completely repainted and resorted out for this year. As we can see there with the ride panel, it's always good to see a good ride panel. And they look beautiful, look at them. This is a really, really stunning example of Dumbo's. Really, really stunning. They're painted beautifully, they look amazing. The lighting on it is incredible at night. And honestly, you know, we're gonna get a little bit closer. We'll get a little bit closer. Look at these, look. Look at these, and you can see all of this, and the lighting's gone up. How often do you get underneath and get to have a look around the things like this? And some of the amazing detail, look at that. The detail's just incredible, absolutely incredible. The park opening soon, the ride is ready to go, ready to go for the new season just looks stunning absolutely stunning here is the new addition for 2021 bought in the super trooper the pwf super trooper will open here with the park look at it look that's a stunning machine this one's only a year old in fact it might not even be a year old um it's going to be at the park for the 2021 season and it's going to provide something very very different some um, some extra frills for the park and of course I say frills some extra family frills for the park This is a family ride. Um, it's gonna have a 1.2 meter height restriction But look at it stunning 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 attraction Now we're not going on to the uh, the super trooper. It's having um, it's still being installed to be fair It's not been here long. So it's still being installed so we're not going to go on to that one but here is the carousel the beautiful beautiful carousel we are going to take you inside of the cabin for the carousel it was one of the more simpler things to be honest with you the cabin for the carousel but we are going to take you inside there so you can have a look at that but a beautiful carousel again all painted up all freshly looking ready to go for the 2021 season here we are inside probably the easiest ride you'll ever see to control and that is of course carousel very very simple controls on the carousel here look how clean it is in here as well look how clean it is in here it just looks incredible it really does the carousel got painted i don't know if it got painted this season i think it may have been painted last season but it's a beautiful carousel a truly truly beautiful carousel we'll shut the door for them as well and just beautiful 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 carousel so easy so easy to operate Already, already for the 2021 season. Not long now. Here we arrive at the Waltzer. Now we are going to go into the Waltzer. We're going to walk around the Waltzer and kind of um, hopefully have a little look. Again, look a little, uh, a little more look in depth on it. But it's ready. Ten car Waltzer. This one. Uh, it's, it's it's very unusual because rather than having a single pin, it has got the plates which spin. So it's a really really smooth Waltzer. Um, these are all run manually, and of course, a couple of years ago. This was completely refurbished um, with complete new graphics. It's uh, got a superhero theme to it and it's beautiful. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely beautiful in the way it is. And of course, as we head around the other side, you'll also see that, um, you know, it had the lighting package not that long ago. We've gone about lighting packages, but Clams Pier invested a lot of money in some really, really, really top lighting packages. And this one is no different, no different at all. Uh, from what used to be quite a um, quite a bland looking waltzer over the last couple of years has transformed with the use of these wonderful LEDs. You've got the overhead as well as uh, you know it's going right down the streams around the around the pay cabin. And let me just say as well, these aren't just single color; these are multi-color LEDs. 
uh, much like they were on the Twister, which was done the year before. But let's take you on, let's take you well, not on, let's take you in and let's have a little look around it. Here we are on the Waltzer. We're going to have a little walk now of the Waltzer. Now, of course, the machine isn't on, um, which is why these freely spin. Usually these wouldn't spin. They would lock when you're on the attraction. And you can see as well how steep this one is. I don't think I've really appreciated, particularly this drop here, just how steep this is. Of course, this was recently uh, refurbished, completely new graphics. It's got some, again, amazing lighting going on. Lovely finish on them, lovely finish on them. Now we're just about to go and have a look in the workshop. All I really want to look at in the workshop is the wheels. The wheels fascinate me. Um, for those that know, I've, I've got my little big one wheel sitting at home. They're quite heavy and uh, I had two more additions to that as well. Two more additions we've added to those wheels, uh, which we haven't shown yet, but we will show very, very soon. So I want to go in. I want to go in and have a look at the wheels. Um, you know, these wheels as well, we'll, we'll get the costing of them, of how much they cost the park. Uh, that excludes you know import tax and things they're not made in the uk uh, a lot of these are italian style rides so you know you've got to pay the import tax on them but they're not cheap they're not cheap at all i remember when we went on behind the scenes of swarm we were told that you know thousands of thousands of pounds for b and m ones but even these slightly smaller coasters honestly don't um don't take them for granted these things aren't cheap to run one of the things that fascinates me is the wheels for these roller coasters and rides and we wanted to come into the workshop and have a look. This is the part selection sitting on the shelf here and what we're going to do is go through them one by one to tell you which one's which. The brown one you see here is for the log flume, log flume boats. The second one you see, the yellow ones are the main running wheels for Tidal Wave. They come at about £400 each with the side wheel next to it, the tiny one next to it, black one coming in at £380. The next one you see you come to is the upstop wheel for the tidal wave and then of course these white ones are the side wheels for the log flume. The next ones are the mad mouse wheels, the mad mouse running, running wheels and these tiny little ones, these tiny little ones there, they're the upstop wheels for the mad mouse roller coaster. It's just fascinating to see what different shapes and sizes you get as you look through here. Um, you know, some of them are, are just pure plastic. Some of them are obviously look more like what we would see as traditional coaster wheels. And these little upstop wheels, they are fascinating, absolutely fascinating to see all this in motion. So this is the circus train, a little children's train which sits down the bottom end of the park. We'll do a quick overview of that one later. And of course, already look, all the green marks are already on, as you can see. It's all been cleaned, painted up, ready to be put back together. You just wouldn't think it, would you? And you think that people sit on these and they have chassis on and everything. And then look, they look like this. Arguably the highlight ride of the park is of course the Mad Mouse Coaster. This SBF coaster arrived a couple of years ago. We were the first on it. We were the first public riders on this ride as we were with the log flume. And what a beautiful coaster it is. Beautiful coaster. It's got a wonderful paint scheme of the red. It runs five cars as well. They can be seen sitting in the station, the five cars. And uh, yeah, it, it's really, really great coaster. Genuinely, genuinely great coaster. Um, as I said, when we first got on it, you know, it's, it's remarkable how smooth it is. And I know it's brand new. It was a brand new coaster. Uh, it's made by SBF Visa, uh, which made the parks um, a tidal wave coaster in addition to the log flume as well. It's just a beautiful ride. It really is a beautiful ride. Now what we want to do with this one, we want to take you again inside. We want to have a little look, a bit closer look to the track, take you down to the, uh, to the lift hill and have a look up there. And you know, really point out some of the finer detail of the ride. Because we don't get to see up close very often. And when it comes to roller coasters, you know what I'm like, you know what I'm like with these behind the scenes. You just, you just know. Here we are on the Mad Mouse. So here's your brake run. Look at this, look. Look at this. And of course, you've got magnetic brakes there leading into these. Look how clean these are. 
Don't they look fantastic? Let's go down here now and have a look around the rest of the Mad Mouse. Here we are, Mad Mouse. SBF visa. Look at this look. Look how good this looks. So you have to take into account, obviously this is right by the sea. You've got the Isle of Wight over there, you've got Old Portsmouth over there. You know, this thing does get hammered from the uh, typical British weather. But just look at it, look how gorgeous it looks. We've got a beautiful sunny day today. Lovely floodlight section. You know, everything's numbered, so you know where it goes back. Look at this thing, look. How good does that look? Couple of brake sections around the ride before mid course drops, final drops. Let's just look at this view. How often do you get a view like that? Love it, it just looks. I never get these close to these things. Won't be long till we're whizzing around this corner. Won't be long. So transfer track can hold three cars. Colour-coded cables, one for brakes, one for the other one I've already forgotten. <coughs> sensors? Sensors! One for brakes, blue for brakes, white for sensors. So whilst it looks like there's quite a lot of cable in here actually, um, you know, when you consider the size of the ride and how much is going on here, it all distributes out really, really nicely to where it needs to go on the lift hills, on the brakes. It's really clean, it's really clean cut. There's nothing in the way. Here is the park's twister ride. I don't think any um, fairground sort of um, amusement park on the sea would be um, would be complete without the twister ride and this thing is proper ready proper ready so we're going to go in now we're going to have a look i'm going to quickly show you the cars i'm going to show you some of the um uh you, you know the uh, kind of what they do to make sure that um they know they're ready with the paint i'm sure you've seen it as we walk around we have demonstrated walk around but we're going to show you that we're going to show the control power and we are actually going to get a treat as well because we're going to see it in motion we are going to see the twister in motion so let's go inside we'll show you around Get into the control panel and let's see this bad boy going. So here we are inside the Twister. The Twister is fully ready to go for the 2021 season. You can see your little uh, green marks on each one. You can see as well that the green marks extend to the middles for the little stretch. Oh, I watched my head. I end up banging my head. And the, you know, the stunning, for those that remember seeing it, the lighting package which they've installed on here is absolutely incredible breathtaking absolutely breathtaking but ready to go and look look padding the most important thing padding <laughs> this is it this is the this is the go and stop that's your lot it's a little pre-season treat here
Now the new ride for last year was the Canyon River Rapids, which we were first on. We were the first members of public on this. Um, a fairly simple ride in the way it works, yet um, you know it obviously has all the safety um, aspects that you'd expect. So starting with the control panel here, this is it. This is just as basic as it is. Uh, you've got the boat separator here, you've got a light to say that it's working or not working, and you've got an emergency stop button. Now the boat separator links to this piston down here, which would stop the boat once it's in the station. However, if people are quite quick on and off, you might not need to use it. Now the ride can operate, it's got four boats, it can send all four out at once and you'll start seeing sensors sort of as you get to the bottom of the lift here and lift up there and then obviously block sensors round to this one here. Um, as you'd expect with block sensors, you know, it stops too many boats being on the lift at the same time, too many going down uh, the, the hill at the same time and, and you know, avoids any collisions. Once you're past these, this is a, you know, a slow moving ride. It's more like a lazy river, uh, which most log flumes are. Um, although the jets are quite powerful, it doesn't matter if the boats bump into each other. You've got a water level indicator just here, which you can probably see in red. And we're at the right water level, right water level to go. Main control panel is over there, which I think we're going to go and have a look at very shortly. So this is where your water's pumping. This is where it's pumping the ride. Um, obviously it's not on at the moment. And of course you have a sound filter as well because we are on the beach and with a blimmin' hovercraft over there, it does pick up quite a bit of sand. So it keeps it nice and clean, keeps it flowing well, keeps it going round. But yeah, look at this look, this is it. Also notice you can just see through there as well, there are some new floodlights on there for this year. Some complete new lighting as the boats sort of rest at the bottom. Um, no one's really sure how this one got here, but these ones rest in at the bottom here. But yeah, it's fascinating, fascinating to have a look at some of these up close. How clean it looks. How clean it looks. There's a side you don't see very often. It's the Mad Mouse from the other side. Little track. Look at that. Look at that. Other side of the Canyon River Rapids, you can see where all the testing's been done, all the markings are on. People familiar with rides will notice those little uh, little green markings on there. And as you come up here, you'll see one of the block sections. So the sensors here go over to the reflectors, which are over the other side. You'll see the reflector over there, and that just pulls this up and down as the boat comes across it as a block. Nice and simple. Well, the filters and pumps over there all work out to this. This is your main pump. You can see we've got a little bit of a filter here to stop anything major going in. Uh, we're told that quite a lot of sunglasses and hats end up in here. And it ends up small and it comes right the way around then, right the way around this massive pipe before going into here to be pushed under the lift hill. And down there. So of course it is worth noting that I didn't actually know that the ride can run without water going down um, going down the slope, going down the main chute part. It is designed to run without it as well, which is uh, apparently when it's really windy, the water just blows off everywhere and they end up uh, kind of wasting and hemorrhaging quite a lot of water. So yeah, being able to turn it off saves water, saves water. But yeah, Canyon River Rapids, we've got some new lights. It's looking fantastic. Um, it's been painted up. It's pretty much ready to go. It's ready to go, to be honest. So here we are all harnessed up on top of the Canyon River Rapids. Uh, I've never stood on top of a log flume before. We've done a few, um, done a few climbs in the past. Uh, up the Swarm, we did the Swarm. That was, that was breathtaking, that was. But it's a lovely view over here. We will just quickly look out as well to the Isle of Wight, to be fair, while we're here. Seems rude not to. Now then, here's a lift hill for it. Um, as you can see, you'll, you'll be familiar with some of these bits and pieces as we come back down, the ratches on here, obviously the uh, anti-rollbacks. Also the track has some anti-rollbacks too, uh, as a double, um, a kind of a double feature. You can see more sensors as well. So you can see the sensor either side here as it approaches the top of the lift hill. But yeah, right, looks really big from up here to be fair. Looks really big. Not your standard layout. I mean, you go to most fairs, you get kind of, the, you know, the kind of boring Revachon double drops. These SBF ones are a little bit more customized, to be honest with you. So it's nice to see something a little bit different when you come down the fair. Come down the amusement park, come down the theme park, whatever we want to call it. Look at this look.
There it is, Clarence Pier down in Southsea. What an amazing, amazing trip that was. I really, really hope you enjoyed the look of the park there, the behind the scenes look of the park and getting close to, you know, the, the elements, the elements that make the rides, particularly the coast I've really, uh, honestly, honestly, going to see the coasters up close with the coaster track looking up the lift hills, it's made my week, made my week, it's made my year. That has actually made my year, genuinely, best thing I've done this year so far. Um, and you know, I know there's not many places to go, but I do get out of the house, I do get out of the house. Honestly, a huge, huge thank you to Clarence Pier for allowing us down today to have a look. As I said, we've walked down here today, we've not come far. I will walk back in that direction down there. And head home. That's my plan. That's my plan. But honestly, honestly, absolutely brilliant. Let us know in the comments. What did you like? What did you like to see? Would you like to see more of this kind of thing if we can arrange it as well? Um, you know, the park opens soon and we'll be able to get down here and experience the rides. But people, people know the channel, know I enjoy closed season. And that for me, oh, that was pinnacle. Absolute pinnacle. Thank you for joining us here on UK Theme Parks. My name's Adam. We'll see you in the open season. We are getting there slowly, hopefully soon. We'll be able to go and ride that coaster.